Hello there. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, ladies and gents. Are you ready to rock? Let's just turn off the sink and throw this on max. And look at that. I can select my current gamepad. Wow, and uh, doing that broke it. It was perfectly fine until I did that. <laughs> Wow. Hold on. Did that actually... We have Quartz. We have Azerty. We don't have Dvorak. I feel bad. I feel really bad for them. Those people on Dvorak. So, this is, um... Roots of Pacha. I had to unplug my, uh controller and we plug it in. I was looking over the settings and I was like, wow, they let you choose your gamepad? And then I was like, whoa, they have all of these keyboard configurations. And then they didn't have that. So this game is in available in system language, English, Dutch, Espanol, Francais, Portuguese. I can't, I can't pronounce that. I'm going to go with Russian and Chinese. Interesting. Bunch of language. So this is a game that came out a few months ago from a small team in, I believe, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get yelled at. It was either Chile or Argentina, but I forget which. I guess we'll play single player. I guess we'll play single player, and it's supposed to be like a prehistoric. Oh, I get to be buff. Oh, I could be ghost. Do we want a unibrow? Game music is slightly louder than me. It doesn't surprise me. I'm not wearing my usual headset because I have an ear infection right now. So my hearing is not the best. Holy crackers, volume. Holy volume crackers. How you doing? <coughs> oh, I can have big bushy brows. Just look normal-ish. Pink eyes. Sounds scary. Hello, how y'all doing? If you missed it, I came from YouTube where we talked about the Paleo stuff. I decided that because a few people's actual names are in there, in there, and I really don't like giving out people's names, uh, that I was just going to take it down, and I will be re-uploading the video without chat later. Um, just so everyone knows. Um, I will also be trimming it to cut out the end, which was mostly just trying to figure out the 424 error stuff. But that's me. Ah, how do they do that? Okay, we got a decent... 34 hairstyles isn't too bad. Got like Dr. Stone style looks. Oh goodness, bright golden hair. Yeah, we'll just go with our normal pink. Oh my goodness. We can have, we can be Santa Claus. <gasps> Handlebar mustache. Yes. Uh-oh. I can get tattoos. These are like face tattoos. Hold on. Let's change it to like green so that we can see it. Oh. Okay. No tattoos. Clothing. There's two options. There's this vest and the loincloth thing. We'll go with the vest. 
Oh no. Footwear. Nothing, two, three, four. Sandals. Always sandals. I don't want a hat. Uh, what's my name? Okay, we go. Here we go. <coughs> so this is a game that I followed for a little bit before it came out, and then when it came out, I bought it intending to play it, and then never did, because it's on Steam, which means of course that's what I did. It's New Year's Eve, our first winter in this land is almost over. The clan is coming back home from the mountaintop. Oh, goodness. That mustache. Where does the time go? It's hard to believe your rite of passage is so soon. It still feels like we found you only yesterday. I have a rite of passage with that mustache? <clears throat> I bet you'll have the coolest totem of everyone. Maybe. I can sense there's something different about you even right now. I don't, <clears throat> I don't want the winter festival to be over. I'm not ready to go to bed. No, it's gotta be over. Welcome to the winter festival. One more story, please. I can't do voices. All right, just one more. I, I, oh goodness. Tell the story of how we got here. I like the way you tell it, but you were there for it. Back when the summer sun still warmed our skin, it was time to pick the day for the next rite of passage. Vwak, our great shaman, asked the spirits and got a strange answer. You must move, they demanded. No normal person should ever question the spirits, but our Vak is no normal person. Why, he asked. You need to find a tree far to the east, the spirits said. Only danger awaits you here. But we didn't know of any pacha trees to the east. This gave our leader a difficult dilemma. Do we travel into the unknown lands or risk disobeying the spirits? But there was one thing he could always depend on. <gasps> the clan! We packed up everything and walked. We walked and walked. Soon the leaves began changing colors and we still hadn't found the tree. Cold and tired, we traveled through the savanna. Unsure how much further we could walk. Our shaman is strong, but not infallible. Could he have made a mistake? As we were making camp. The earth shook. The ground groaned a terrible sound as the trees threatened to topple. There was no doubt. This was a powerful sign. But for what? The way we had come was blocked. And winter was too close to go back. Then the clan did what it did best. Yep, they worked together. Some built our homes while others gathered food for the winter. Black walked away from the group. Noticing his absence, I followed him into a nearby forest. Our shaman was distraught. How could he make everyone leave their homes only to be trapped in a strange land? But then they saw it. That's a big tree. We can live inside of it. Somebody hollow it out. We were home. We live at the roots of the pacha tree, guys. <clears throat> Amongst the roots. I am sleeping. <gasps> Hello, how do you like my mustache? Good, you're up. It's finally spring. It is? I slept all winter? I'm like a bear. I'm such a good bear. I know it's a different idea, but I think it'll work. We can grow food from wild seeds right here in these fields. They just need a little clearing. Or a lot. My, my glorious mustache disappears while sleeping. It hides, okay? It's it's a little shy. Doesn't like to be seen when it, when it's sleeping. I wish I could be out there with you, but my bones aren't what they used to be. I'm sure you'll find a way to help, Igrork. You always do. 
think so, I think so too. I think we're all relying on the glorious moustache. Moustache. Oh goodness, tutorials, 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 tutorials. Open the journal. I need to find wild seeds. Find wild seeds, plant and care for them, then pick their precious yield in a few days. <gasps> There's the pin. There's the pin. There's the pin. The clan is preparing for the rite of passage tomorrow. Talk to the clan. Your adopted grandparent with a great sense of humor. We have Mary is our sibling. And I am adopted. Okay. Interesting. I have a parent sister somewhere. I'm sure you'll find seeds around the village if you look. Gather seeds from ripe wild plants by harvesting them. Uh, 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 using your hand axe, clear the fields till the soil. Uh, clear the fields until the soil to prepare. Ooh, a hand axe to clear soil. That does. That sounds like it's gonna take a while. <clears throat> Select the seed from your seed bag, then plant it. After a few days, you gotta use a water skin to water it. Okay. Hello. That's the adoptive grandmother? I am confused. I offered a flower like this one from my rite of passage so long ago. <gasps> the Datura flower. Tomorrow is going to be special. I can feel it. We can feel it in the air. I will say, the game works re ah, really well on controller. Who are you? What are you standing at? You know Tara as the partner of the clan's leader who puts together all the festivals. They have Jin, Mana, Nock. So much to do. We'll need lots of contributions if we're going to prosper in this new land. If you can contribute three different items, that would help a lot. Pachins are known to work together. As a member of the Pachin clan, you're expected to contribute to its prosperity. You can drop what you'd like in the <clears throat> to contribute every day in the contribution box by the Pachin Hearth. Contributions can be used to exchange with your clan. It's the way each member appreciates the work others have done. Prosperity is the sum of your your and the rest of the clan's contributions. It is not spent nor exchanged, and it can only go up. Well, obviously they haven't met me. As the clan prospers, they'll be able to develop new ideas and change how they live in meaningful ways. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Okay, we have a quest. Oh yeah, I'm gonna beat this wood. Look at that. We can now plant, <clears throat> plant the bottom. I have a torch. Wait. I have a torch, don't make me use it. Hydrate, but my water's way back here. Oh goodness, there's people in the water. Oh man, not gonna help. I ate food, which means I'm waiting for stuff to kick in. All my medications to start fishing, stand in the water and use your hand axe. We're axe fishing. Interesting. Hover your cursor over a fish to activate the mini game. Continue to hover to increase the bars below. The bottom bar indicates your likelihood of catching that fish. You can try your luck at any time or wait until the bar is full. If a fish sees you, hover outside the act. If the fish sees you, hover outside the active circle until the alert stops. Otherwise, the fish will dart away. Ah, the clan's fisher. He carries on his family's le legacy. It's Frere. <clears throat> when I get nervous, I fish, but I don't need this many. <gasps> he caught a fish. If you're nervous, you can try fishing too. Hello. You know, Illo as an apprentice healer who's always busy helping the clan in one way or another. Wow, that is a family. 
It's been a while since I fished with Frere. It's pretty fun. But he might catch every fish in this river before tomorrow. Ah. We have fish. 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 Did I get it? I got it. I discovered a porcupine. That doesn't sound right. Somebody should tell the developers that porcupines are not fish. Or are they? Blue. Another one. We did it. We caught the fish. We should probably find those plants. Farming games and all that. Pre-mutated. <laughs> I like the idea of porcupines mutating into land creatures right before our eyes. It's a crazy thought. Might just come true. Might just come true. It's crazy. Somebody should think of a way for me to not use a hand axe for fishing. Bloop. A stronger tool is needed for that. What kind of tool is stronger than my fist? They seem to be confusing us. What's down here? <gasps> a dog. That's Kessler. Lives with Oka. Who are you? You're Skara. You live with Oka. Who's Oka and why do they have so many dogs? <clears throat> this is Ebon, the sister of the clan's musician. She loves to play music as well. Octary, Kroll, Jelrud. I don't want to copy Jelrud's offering, but nothing else fits. A clothing maker who helps his mom Jizu dress the clan. I have to figure out what I'm going to wear to the ceremony. Probably this. Well, and it's not really that hard. Dari is the caretaker of the clan's kids. She loves teaching them about the world. I don't see why Grob can't take a break from clearing that wood. Chevrois could use his help. Dude, the, the, the names are so hard to say. It's Jelrod, who loves being the center of attention. On my rite of passage, I offered my first instrument. It was hard to choose with my many talents. Wow. So good at that. He's got so many talents. The leader's daughter, who wants to be the next in line. Hmm. I'm all for hard work, but Nock really made a dish. Don't know why he's still inside cooking. <gasps> Why, hello, Paintor. The clan's artiste. She loves kids even though she doesn't have any of her own. Ron loves playing bones even though Tati crushes him every time. <clears throat> you should go try too. I heard Tati is giving a stone box to anyone who can beat her challenge. The one who keeps the predators away and the mother of the wolves. <clears throat> She's hunting the predators. God. The wolves can pick up on everyone's excitement. I bet they'd love it if you gave them a treat. I don't have no... Ah, she gave me a treat. The clan's healer. <clears throat> she keeps her medicine box stocked with herbs. Igrok told me about his plan for the fields. I gathered some from these plants. Oh, goodness, we have some tomatoes. Stealing all your tomatoes. It's Ron, guys. The one who collected water for the clan. There isn't much from to do between the two. He's the water gatherer. There's really not a lot to do between two rivers for him. Don't want to call Teti a cheater, but that old woman moves fast for her age. The clan storyteller and gossip. 
Yo, what is this? Just toss the rock and pick up the bone before it falls. See if you can get eight. Wait, what? I, I don't understand. Okay, so all I'm doing is trying to boom, 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 collect stones by using the, the directions on the stick as fast as I can. Um, when do I stop? She wanted me to get eight. Unlucky 13? Nope, even that. Even unlucky 13 wasn't enough. We are the expert stone thrower of the world. I am so good at throwing rocks. Maybe I'll get the 21. Then we can say blackjack. So out. Yep. Blackjack. We only got blackjack. I'm sure you'll put this box to good use. I got a box. Yes. I am the best. Now where did I put the thing to plant stuff? Is it up here? It is up here. Okay, um, at settings. Wait, what happened to my seeds? Didn't we pick four seeds? That's not good. I want my four seeds. What happened to the tomatoes? That's what I'm wondering. I stole those fair and square. Knowing me, I like ate them or something. Wait. Okay, we found them. They go into a seed bag on the left instead of into the inventory. That is not what I expected. The stone catching was a hard job. It was a betting game. I never know if we had eight ever. We have to harvest them in an unspecified number of days. I mean, we have four more. We should probably take our hand axe and beat some stuff to death. Die, rocks. They died. Okay, now we're good. But first... Die, grass. Is the green bar your stamina? I don't even see a green bar. 
We do have stamina. It's on the far right. It's like the fire bar below the map. Y yeah, the yellow bar. <gasps> carrots. Those are disgusting carrots. Let's throw water on everything. But there's no time of day, right? So if we look, there's no like, there's nothing that says, oh, you need to be done by this time. So it looks like they're replacing time of day with stamina. It's hard to believe Juke had his rite of passage over two springs ago. Where does the time go? Where does it go indeed? Oh yeah, you wanted uh, contributions. Uh, have a f have a fish, and a fish, and some wood. And do you want some rocks? I contributed them. I wonder if we have to wait till the next day for them to be taken out. Oh, we can see like this is 19 points, 2 points, 1 point. These aren't worth. Let's just take these back. If we're here, we're here for points. Real points. Not your small amounts. Did we talk to you? Yes, we did. Oh, everybody's coming back here. We talked to you. We talked to you. I can go to Jook to change my appearance and get rid of my magnificent mustache. So Juke is our barber. <clears throat> Whose house am I breaking into? Nobody knows. Nope. Hold on. There was a right there. There was a very specific angle on the stick that I was able to hold it and it bugged the animation. Right here? I'm really good at breaking stuff. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go beat up some rock. Let's go refill this. It's your house now, finders keepers. I don't know. Should we fish with our axe? I'm gonna stand in the water. They'll never know what hit them. I'm looking for a new fish, but they all seem to be porcupines. Patience is key. I don't have no patience. Hey, you, wait up. I haven't talked to you yet, I don't think. Would you like a porcupine? Grob. He's known as the clan's hunter. He's also Jin's right hand in the clan. And has a lot of children. I just need a couple more days and I'll have that path back to the savannah cleared. Well, you heard him. Couple new, couple more days. Me and my magnificent mustache will do the farming. We will be the town farmers. Bloop. Oh no, we're using so much energy. The day is almost done. We must be one with the natures. Yep, 
If Minecraft was punch trees, this is definitely beat rocks. Punch rocks? No, that doesn't sound good. Maybe beat rocks is the best one. I refuse to love the... F <gasps> we have our forecast. My right knee hurts. That means rain is nearby, but my nose is not picking up any dense air. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna go to sleep. Clan Prosperity, 2,103. But I only contributed 107 of that. 1,107. So I'm a tenth of the clan. You guys saw it first here. Your rite of passage. The clan has traveled far for this day. <clears throat> what is my passage? When I first asked Apacha about this day, she called us to leave our home. We traveled far, but she rewarded us with this safe and fruitful land. She has given us much. Today we honor her with a promise. It's when our totems are ready to reveal themselves that we are asked to serve the land, the spirits, and our clan. Let us begin. The drums of war are playing. How will you seal this promise? <gasps> Pacha's rock. I've discovered the magic of sound. Today I offer my first instrument. An instrument? The cave lion is the spirit that protects you. <gasps> you have a lion. The catch that she gave you in the morning? Patience. The animal that protects them is the bear. They have a bear inside of them. Careful. The art of combining different ingredients to make something more mouthwatering. Today I offer my bestest dish ever. I only know one creature that shares your passion for food. The wild boar. Ouch. <clears throat> is it my turn? Seeds that grow quickly, a flower that blossoms like friendship, a fish I was lucky enough to catch, a dish that gives us stamina for our day. This seems important. Um, this seems too important for me. Stamina. Wait. Seeds that grow quickly. Because I'm weird. Your plants will grow faster. That's good. Generations have been guided by the spirits of animals, but long ago when Pacha first plucked humanity from the stars, it was our ancient spirit who advised us. <clears throat> that same spirit protects you now. The tree of Pacha. I'm a tree. They can be boars and bears. I get to be a tree. You should know we are here for you and my magnificent mustache. Why, hello, everybody in town. Jin, the clan's leader. He's the one who followed Vox. Oh, cool. Hypothetically, which would be better? A, a better leader, a boar or a horse? A horse. Leader needs to move fast and look out for the group. Like me. I don't know. I just said a horse because boars are funny. Your energy seems a little different now. It's Garrick, the thinker of the clan. He's usually contemplating how things work. Normally, I don't like to give extra meaning to things, but a Pacha tree totem seems pretty important. Jag is the one who watches the fire. He tends to keep to himself. My rite of passage was a bit different. I'd assume so. You didn't run across the world. We need to meet me all the people. Kroll is the clan's builder. Like his partner, Agra, he prefers to 
stay busy. My little girl is an adult now. I have some dust in my eye. You looked amazing up there. Thanks. I don't, I don't know if I love to dance. I talked to you already. Stop moving about. You're making it hard to keep track of people. The clan's toolmaker, like her partner, Kroll, she prefers to stay busy. Don't know why Ivan was so nervous. She did great. <gasps> Voda, that sounds like Yoda. A tracker who joined our joined the clan on our journey here. I guess we really are staying here. It appears that we are. An ambitious little kid. Ivan looked cool. The oldest of the kids who wants to be a hunter. Tear made sweets. I don't know. I don't know if I like sweets. Who knows? The youngest in the clan who wants to be a hunter. That was amazing. Did you see the glow of the totems too? No, I only felt them. A tree of pacha totem? How exciting. I'm not sure I like that pacha has more. You raise a valuable point. <clears throat> Your seeds will grow faster for the first spring. Only the first springs. Okay. Tara wants to thank you. Okay, we have to talk to her later. I think I met so many people. And I'm a bit... Ah! The clan shaman and the reason the clan journeyed to this new land can't be a coincidence. We found you long ago and ended up traveling to this land. Settling the land is inspiring the clan to have new ideas on how to improve life. Ideas require the clan to have certain prosperity to be able to, and items to develop them. Okay, so are we going to learn how to raise animals? Who? Oka has an idea of how to domesticate animals. Well, that seems... Where am I again? Who's Oka again? Hello. I had an extra solar dryer. We don't have enough wood. Not enough wood at all. We have instrumentalists. We have beans. We're gonna grow so many beans. We have new meat every Wednesday. When is Wednesday? I do not know of these days. Where am I going? That's a mountain. <gasps> you can't place this. Here. I don't know where here is, but we can't place it here. <clears throat> oh, okay. We have to go back to the land. Oh, we're across the the river
So we can't place anything here. Yes, hello. So those beautiful animals too, they don't seem to be afraid, but don't pay as much attention. I heard them react to some bird song, so I asked Ebon to sing when nearby, but her beautiful voice doesn't seem to work. I do remember a story about animals that liked music, though. Oka has begun working on the idea of animal friendship. You heard him. We're working on our friendship with aminals. I'm going to put this thing up here, probably, maybe. What do you do? Okay, in four hours, we will have dried porcupine. So we can get dried food this way. That means I can run into the water and stab fish again. Wait, how many fish did I put on there? Oh, I can't hit it. It's hiding beneath that rock. We missed it. We missed it. Okay, we can dry up to four fish at once. We should probably catch some fish then. Oh, it is a green bar on the right side. Reminds me of Stardew Valley's. <gasps> Ooh, this one requires four bars. Oh, I had it. I had it. I was so silly. I was so close. I caught it. <gasps> I got a porcupine new record. New record. Do you like the fishing system? I think, so if I'm remembering correctly, as we learn more stuff in the game, like that little development system that you saw where we teach people to do stuff, we will unlock better tools and such as the game goes on. So we'll probably have uh, different fishing systems too. Uh, this one doesn't bother me. It's pretty good. I just, I'm a little like, ah, oh, we need more time. Okay, let's water some stuff. I actually like it when when uh, games try new stuff, though. So the fishing system that they have is a is a nice breath of fresh, breath uh, breath of fresh air, breath of fresh air compared to um, uh, everybody seeming to use variants of the same fishing system for everything. Not to the river again. Voda thinks... Okay, where's Voda? Voda's over there. Voda thinks there might be a better way of getting water than having to run to the river. Anybody here could... Can we think of any better ways to get water than running to the river? Okay, Voda's over here. Taking trips to the river to refill our water skins gets tiring. It's like three feet away. While taking a nap, I heard the sound of water underground. Okay, we need more. St we need more stone. A well? A pond? I think she wants to build a well. I cannot break rocks with water. 
Well, I probably could, but it would take a while. I don't think we have that kind of time. Discuss the idea and research it. If we dig, maybe we can reach the water, but how to contain it? Voda has been gone working on the idea of a well. We should probably get more research. Or not research, contribution. We might need that in the future. The clan must prosper. There are many ways to get water. <gasps> click, click. We processed them. Smoke signals are what quests are called. Yes, I remember now. Okay, we can see our session. I was gonna look for something. Oh, these are only worth 30. We're gonna need to do more. More to contribute. Yeah, we'll keep our eyes on that. Click, click, click. So there's a few additions to this that I, I actually like quite a bit. First, the tools are not part of the bar. They seem to be in their own little spot on the side over here where we can rotate through them without having to use any space that makes the backpack feel not as terrible. They went with a much larger size for everything. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, but we'll get there probably. We have a single tool for everything so far, except for watering stuff. The clan does feel like a cohesive thing, even if people are joining it at random. It has given me facial hair, something that Palea is lacking a ton of. We got more carrot seeds. It's time for us to lie down. Stash. And I can sleep in all of the beds there. I contributed very little. Spring three of year one. <gasps> Fair's totem is a lot to bear. All is well that ends well. Hi, Wenyard. How you doing? We're playing Roots of Patch Cha for the first time. Okay, Fair is down there. It's a little prehistoric farming sim where I'm trying to not lose my mind. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm okay. Woke up a little bit late today, so I didn't really eat that much, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I, so after today's Paleo patch, I did the crazy thing of spending... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Over the pa past few days, there's just been too much stuff happening. So, like, if anybody doesn't know, there's the Linus Tech Tip stuff. 
Um, and as somebody who does watch a bit of tech content quite often, that, that's been a whole mess to follow recently. And then Paleo released its patch, which has created a bit of an uproar, to say the least. Hair totem. I love fishing, but I'm not sure I'm ready for the clan to depend on just me. Could you help me by catching and contributing three fish? Oh, they want me to catch and contribute fish. So yeah, a little bit much. What did you discover? I was right. Teddy told me the story again. Our ancestors imitated birds to get close to their prey. With the right whistle, the animals wouldn't run. It made me think of our flutes. The ones we use for rituals and dances. Some of them sound like birds, too. I asked Akra to make me the special flute. I'm sure it will work. Uh-oh. Once a day, attune with the animal by playing a minigame until all the notes are filled. Once fully attuned, more actions will be available, such as talking, which will increase your friendship with them. If you bought stuff, it should be there. It's not an item. It's part of your inventory, right? So, I don't know. I don't know. Once fully tuned, more actions will be available, such as talking, which will increase your friendship with them. Eventually, you'll be able to invite wild animals to live in the fields, while others can live in your house. You can also play the flute in a radius by not targeting a specific animal. They'll react depending on their status. Wild animals will show recognize you. I'm, I'm confused. Does it just... Does the friend, the pet thing just not appear? Because I showed earlier that you can get one already. I don't know. There could be a bug where for some people it's just not appearing. Where am I in this town? Oh my goodness. Voda, where are you? You're up in the, the big house. Got it. I need that plan. Where am I? Okay, the big house is up here. I gotta learn this village. Hello? You're not Voda. None of you are Voda. Was I lied to? Is there no such thing as Voda? I have slow moments, but I have looked everywhere and I was told to look for it, so I will wait. Um, there's a small part of my, of my patch note videos where I showed exactly where it is. It's in the accessory section of your inventory tab, so right above where the items are. It should look like a paw print. Uh, if it's not there, then you don't have it. It should be right after the glider selection. You can see it even if you don't have cats, so. All we need is a hole deep enough for water to flow into and some rocks to contain it. I call it a well. I made you one with the materials you bought, brought me. <gasps> that was very nice of you. Thank you. You don't have a paw in your inventory. Well, that's a bigger problem. That's not a bug of them not giving you the cat. That's just a bug of your game not being able to load the cat section. 
another meal. Okay, he wanted us to catch three whole fish and contribute them. I sort of wish they added a pin system. Okay, let's go catch some fish. <gasps> it's the four difficulty one. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit annoying. Fishy. Go! Like pinning quests. This is this a Steam game? Yes, this game is on Steam. It's called Roots of Pacha. I said we're just trying it for the first time. I will, f I will dry that Tic Tac. It's also multiplayer. You can play with up to three of your friends in a single game if you want. I believe it's the type of game where you have to create a character for each save file, but I have not tested that, so I can be very wrong. Uh, we caught another porcupine. It's cute. Whoa. Yeah, the game looks good. I'm going to be honest. The main reason that I ended up buying it besides like looking at it and being like, oh, it's historical and that that's really interesting to me is uh, they had a falling out with it, their publisher and I really didn't like their publisher. So they um, shortly after the game came to Steam, they basically got into a big fight with their publisher and had to basically amicably split from them and retake over the entirety of the Steam page. By amicably, I mean they just ended up taking it over and self-publishing. Which is a bit of a nightmare. I, I don't want to say the publisher, though, because I'm not 100% sure if it is the publisher that I'm thinking of. Because there's a publisher for indie games like this that's pretty common. That's pretty bad, but there's a couple of them, and I can't be sure if the one that I'm thinking of is, is the one I have issues with for this game. We need to catch a few more fish. Are you going to play Fae Farm? It... It depends. Fae Farm comes down to, can I have... Will, will I be able to afford it when it comes out? That's the big question. What about Coral Island? I have played a bit of Coral Island. I haven't really played it on stream. I'm not that far into it. It is a very big game. And that's part of the reason that I didn't get too far into it. I have a mental block when it came, comes to some games where, yeah, I if I if I play Coral Island, I will probably just play it. I have to be in the right kind of mood to play these games, though, because I've, I've talked at length in the past about how unless I'm playing with other people, I cannot play Stardew Valley. It's just a game that I cannot play.
I definitely prefer to play games like this with other people because I tend to like go off and do my own thing and don't have any direction to what I'm doing. Which isn't like the worst thing in the world, but for me it messes with my head. Or in, in Stardew specifically, I spent so long speedrunning the game that I'm just like, I want it all now. I want it all now. And other people are there to basically be my filter of do not glitch the game to get infinite stamina. Do not glitch the game to get infinite prismatic shards. Don't learn how to walk on water in order to fish for legendary fish at level one. I think there's a lot of room. Palea did one thing really well. It showed that there is want from the community for an MMO in the style of these farming sim games. Holy cow, you can walk on water in Stardew Valley? Yes, it's fairly easy. I, I don't know if they patched it for recent version, for versions, 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 but yeah, you've been able to go out of bounds, walk on water, a lot of stuff. Um, there's actually a tile. So if you go towards like the sewers and you go out into the ocean, there's a, there's one tile that you can catch legendary fish on no matter what level your fishing is. So, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because I spent literally months learning the speedruns for that game. I never did a bundle speedrun, despite spending literal months learning, learning it piece by piece. I knew all the tricks for it. I knew all the math for it because there's no randomization in Stardew. Everything is predetermined based off of a really simple formula. And then I just never used that in a run. And instead it's all stuck in my head. So every time I play, I'm like, uh oh. I know all this stuff that I'm not supposed to know. There is time. Okay, I wonder if the time is just something we haven't learned how to measure yet. Oh, 417 total. We contributed so much today. We were almost 30% of our clan. And energy seems to be flowing in the caves. The caves are calling. They are calling to us. Unfortunately, the caves never called to tell me how to get there. Oh, well, she did say she felt it in her bones, and it is now raining. Rain's the best. Okay, dear. We gotta talk about your thoughts of the word best. Hand axe in your sleep. Hand axe in your sleep.
We're up a little early. So nice to have another fisher in the clan. I made this smoker for you. <gasps> we'll put that next to our preserver. Everybody's so nice. Whoa, that's big. <gasps> I can use the right stick to... Okay, I can use the right stick to actually move stuff. Smoked or solar dried. Huh. Well, we're not drying anything today, that's for certain. But rainy days are good days to go fishing, usually. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get an aminol to be my friend. I am dancing with my hand in a rock. Wow. So you have to go far right and then go up the mountain and around. Dance. Oh, it's just in the shadows. I have wiggly hands. Look at my hands, they are so wiggly. Okay. I think this game is 25-ish dollars on Steam, so... I will say that. It's a bit... bit expensive compared to your Stardew-type games, but I think it had a few more people work on it. And to be honest... They need to make their money back, so I really... Pricing isn't really something that's crazy to me. Like, I don't worry about, oh, this game is $10 and Stardew is 15 This game is $20 and Star Stardew was made by one person who's already made back all the money that they could have needed. How do I attune? Okay, if we let it go too far in the circle, it fails. So we have to hit it in that light part of the circle, not the dark part. Not the dark part. What are you? Let's attune you. Boom. Boom, boom. I failed. The hardest part about that is that the headphones I'm currently wearing, the earbuds, are Bluetooth, so I'm like super delayed on being able to tell what they are. But this game has a team behind it, obviously. I don't know, when I say I wanted to, one of the or um, when I said I was thinking about how to make a game something like this is closer to what I was thinking about something where you actually have to it's 2D it's in the world you do stuff you could try to figure out m basic multiplayer stuff in it if you want But it would be very difficult to do from scratch with no knowledge. Hmm. -mm. I am making the aminals like me. I think there's something interesting that's happening here. Because everything seems... I don't know. It, it seems like they went out of their way to make sure that all of the systems felt good. Ah. 
there's a trailer. Why are they talking? It's okay. Just do what we practiced. What? I don't remember my lines. I got this. Good. Just don't be overly dramatic about it. I would never. <sighs> the caves are a maze of challenges built by the totems to test you. It won't be easy, but you can do it. To pass these trials, you must pr first prove your strength by breaking rocks. Sorry. Good luck. Where do I break these rocks? Is it this rock? It is not responding to my breaking it with music. I broke your rocks. Oh, it's these rocks. Completely different rocks. I'm sorry. I broke your rocks for no reason. <gasps> the path is open. Ah, that was not the direction I thought we were going. <gasps> Yellow. You may have proven your strength, but there's more you need to do to impress Owl. Huh. Well, I'm confused. Let's go break more rocks. They seem to like when I do that. See? Wait, there's not just rocks in here. Now I'm confused. Matching the symbols and the stones to my paintings was Don's idea. I'm extra proud of the pinecone and pomegranate I drew for this one. <gasps> Whip just wants to make sure they stay a secret. Pine cone. Pomegranate. Tree. Tree. As sure as a tree is sturdy, our relationship will produce greatness. These are different. Pomegranate. Pine cone. Twee. Tree. I'm so confused as to what we're supposed to do with this. Maybe if I break more stones. As we all know, breaking rocks is the correct way of playing. See? Told ya, it's all about breaking rocks. Honor this totem with what it desires and it will deem you worthy of its attention. Oh goodness. Before asking for favors from the totem, you must first offer your friendship in the form of a gift. Hints are painted on the walls with symbols that match what the totem wants. But what does it want? It wants acorns and pomegranates, huh? Where do I find an acorn in this in this wilderness? Nobody knows. Uh 
Oh wait, we have a fool. Is the day halfway over? Are we at noon? Okay, we found some pine cones. We found the hips of the roses, but a rose of any other name would smell as sweet. You get down from there. Get down from there this instant. Potato. Not you. Not, still not. Still, still not. Still not you. Potato. We are discovering the potatoes of the world. Potato. I don't see the pomegranate. Surprise those hogs didn't eat you. No, there's our they are our friends, not food. Hogs are friend, not food. Is that, is that a fox or a dog? It's gotta be a fox. Everything's wolves in this game. <gasps> I can only play music to four animals in a day. Maybe I should try harder and play my flute for everyone. So I played music for those two before, but not the rest. So that's how we can tell who we played to before. So we can specialize who we're playing to. have some rose stuff the fruit of a rose by any other name is still a, yeah, uh, you guys are trying to use the same joke that I did get out of here with your jokes they're mine you can't have them Okay, yes, the clock is right above the... It's in that little map thing on the top right. I am just a fool. Okay, we need, we need to stop making new holes in the ground. No stamina. I think the stamina system is mostly used because people can't, people can't find a good way to get food to work in these games. At least that's how I feel about it. What does it add to the game? We can do it. We have harvested our four crops. 
and some of them. What can I do for you? I seem to be watering my crops. Wait, I didn't get seeds for those, did I? Interesting. Still in the house? Hello. Hello. Wake up, sir. I need to... Sp Thank you. I'm too old to be tending crops in the field, but I think I can help. What if I grew plants to harvest their seeds? I could even grow saplings for trees. Wait, what? Plant nursery. Igor thinks he can help us get more seeds. I'm unsure of what is happening at the moment. But we don't have the prosperity to do your plant nursery idea. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I should probably only really play this game with other people. I'm gonna get lost in it and just do a bunch of stuff, but from a stream standpoint, I'm gonna just stand here chopping this tree. Hold on. It's eating my stamina away. Oh, we got it eventually. Sorry. From a stream standpoint, it's just a whole bunch of nothing happening in my head. don't know who I like and who I don't like. The characters are here. But I don't really feel attached to any of them or drawn to any of them. I've changed lately. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Playing Bones with Ron is fun, but he's a little too competitive. If you say so. But I bet my totem is a beaver because I am good at building. It's all about the beaver. We can leave it to beaver, right? Bum, 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 bum. A cave lion could jump over our house. I wonder if that's true. But we're not in a cave. How would that happen? You have an instrument too. I have an instrument. Why can I not play my instrument with other people? Boop, boop, boom. Okay, it's up here. Our fishing spot's up here, guys. We're gonna fish. I wanna use the smoker that we got to smoke some fish. We also got a blue seashell.
we lost it. We had a catch now, and then it, we didn't have a catch now. Okay, how many things can I put on the smoker? Looks like it's still four. Maybe six. I'm not sure. We're gonna get it. Boom. Got him. We should probably contribute our plants. Actually, we can contribute, like, everything that we have so far. Bloop. But first... Oh, these take longer. The song the birds sing in the spring is even prettier than the music Jalrod plays. Songbirds. What can I say? Must stand quietly and wait. Boom, got him. Oh, yeah, because it was asking us if we wanted the days to be 15 minutes long, which we do. That's a, I think that's a little bit longer than Stardews. I think Stardews were like. 13 minutes? I don't even remember. Got another one. I am the best fishinator out here. And while all of that's happening, we're gonna run over here. Refill this. And find my chest of stuff that I left by a random house. Oh, that doesn't count. Trees counts. Rocks count. But none of that stuff counts. Okay. I see how it is. We'll be fine. We'll need that plant nursery though in order to get our crops. Our crops must be better. skin is here. We 
drop it on stuff. We're good to go. Good to go. I've watered everything. Uh oh. It was triangle. Oh, that's 74. It's so much more than everything else that we had. turn these in for contributions I don't know what we're doing with them because you know we haven't been able to do anything with them yet but we're gonna get more and we need to prosper wonder how many we'll get for today this will probably be the last day that we play in the game though I'm sort of tired I don't know why I should have slept decently well. It's the ear infection. I usually sleep on my side, which probably helps with the ear infection thing. And I sleep on my ear and it hurts. It's the last two days. Two days? Two or three days haven't been the best sleeping. I will need to take a nap. I'm actually really interested to see a couple things about this game as I play further into it, like the suggestion system for like how we got the well and the flute for the animals and such is really interesting. And it makes the rest of the uh, clan feel like they actually sort of help especially considering a majority of the prosperity that's growing isn't from me doing stuff. It's from, you know, them doing things. So my first impressions of this game are actually pretty positive. I like it more than I thought I would. Wow, that's a lot of clan prosperity. I did contribute seven, almost 600 of it myself. So let's save the game. Don't know when I'll play this again next. Today wasn't really a a stream day or a day that I planned on stream. Oh my goodness, they built a bridge. Why did they build a bridge? Why are you building a bridge? And why are you painting a bridge? Okay. It appears that uh, next time I play this, we'll figure out why we need a bridge. There's a lot of space down there for us to potentially grow things. Like a lot. Wow. But yeah, no, fairly positive first reaction to our first impressions of the game I really do like the um, the fishing stuffs with how it is and I really like the suggestions well where else will you keep the trolls if you have no bridge I don't know Nemo I don't know we can always keep them somewhere else but yeah no I'm a bit sleepy so and as I said, I would prefer to play games like this with other people because 
I just like playing games like this with other people more than I like playing them on my own. So. Oh. And before I forget, where's Steam? The other game that I was looking at was One Lonely Outpost. That was the other one that I was going to talk about. I tried the demo. It really wasn't for me as much. Like the early game wasn't really for me. So, not really playing it. I think it's good. It's just very much not not the style that I typically play, at least for the early game. The end game and stuff that they talked about in the past looks really interesting, but I just don't know if I'll enjoy the game well enough to get there. Okay. We'll probably just need to water all that again. So again, today wasn't the stream day in the first place. I only streamed on YouTube because I was like, we need to talk about the patch stuff. And I only streamed here because I was like, well, we didn't stream yesterday because I wasn't feeling well. We'll see how well I'm feeling now. We got to over three hours total streamed today, so. It's probably good enough. My body will hate me for it later. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. And a uh, bit of a calmer day. I still have to come back and do Super Mario Bros. 3 this week, as well as probably Super Mario World. It might be tomorrow if I'm feeling up for it. Have fun, and yeah, I'll probably be making more videos on YouTube about non-Palia games pretty soon. As I said, I want to release a first impressions of this. I'll probably end up playing a few more probably through the end of the season at some point before I make that and I'll try to find more games to talk about in the near future. So have fun and yeah, take a nap. <laughs> Bye.